The Nightingale and Other Short Fables was one of the most successful things we've done in my time at the COC. It's a production that we have taken all over the world. And wherever it got, this, this production, it was a major success. And it has delighted audiences everywhere. Back with us for the third time in one season will be Jane Archibald taking on the role of the Nightingale. Jane is an incredible artist and she's made a really, really big commitment to the COC. And we've taken the opportunity really to ask her to be the COC's first ever artist in residence. It's just exciting to be a member of the chorus and to be part of an opera in the first place. Then when you're part of a production by Robert Lepage, yeah. that has a very unique and unusual way of telling a story. There's so many yeah. magical moments. It's hard not to lose yourself in the puppet action that's going on in front of you yeah. because it just gets to be kind of mesmerizing. You just think, oh my God, is that ever beautiful? Look so at that little boat come out of there. And and then the yeah. chorus themselves have this wonderful yeah. magical moment where we're doubled yeah. in size in a sense. It's quite startling for the audience to, to suddenly see 40 people go and these little people show up. Robert Lepage is, is really a genius. Name me another production where you have the pit turned into a pool. What a great idea. Yeah, everybody's in the water. The singers, the puppet players, and the marionettes are animated from the water. It's kind of cool to see your friends up to their waist in water. <laughs> it really shows you the unlimited possibilities of opera and how even within the confines of an opera house, you can always do something new.